this is a conclusion to a very long, very arduous, but extremely powerful time in my life. I, I've never had more opportunity to do the things that I actually want to do with my life. <laughs> maybe it's funny maybe maybe the reason why I never felt scared before was because I knew somewhere that it wasn't that close to actually becoming true in certain ways but like I'm starting a university course doing something soon I've got a job that I was supposed to go to but I was too ill and I still make riffs this is probably the first time I've ever decided to tell my life circumstances <laughs> to you guys in very, very plain way. In a very plain way, because the whole time I've been trying to... I, I've honestly... <laughs> like, the stuff I don't mention, I don't mention because I'm scared about it. Like, if I'm not bringing something up, it's because I'm fucking worried about... I'm, I'm worried that I can't even do it, you know? So that's why I won't bring it up, because I'll be like... I'm, I don't bring that up. If I don't bring something up, it's because I am too scared to even bring it up. So if I'm talking about it, it means we're kind of on the green. Kind of. Yeah, I have a job coming up. And that should be good. And I have... Uh, yeah, I still write down a lot of good music. And I write a lot of good riffs. I have way, way, way too many unfinished music production product projects but I have some really 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 good riffs in the bank that need fleshing out into whole songs and so things are generally speaking looking up and you better believe they're looking up <laughs> if I say they're looking up because <laughs> I don't say things I try not to say things I don't mean um that said uh there have been some other revelations that I've had. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> what else was I going to talk about? I was going to say some shit. Yeah, I mean, things have changed for me. I feel like I, I just I had no idea how hard it would be to change them, how long it would take to change things, how I don't fit in the frame and it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> I don't know how long it would take for things to change, you know. And I don't know how hard it was going to be. I don't know. Like, man, I, it, it's really difficult, man. Like, it's really confusing. Um, I won't say my life is difficult. My life's pretty easy, but it's okay. But, like, it's difficult because I feel like... Like, as has often been the case in my life, like, my circumstances won't really visibly clearly reflect the progress I've made you know and that's a bit annoying uh always seems to take a little bit of time for fucking always seems to take a little bit of time for things to uh catch up <laughs> yeah I, I don't know I don't know like it's weird having like the best riffs I've ever made, like, like, making some of the music I make is amazing, and it just needs to be fleshed out into whole songs, like, I think they're beautiful, I think some of the music I've made is beautiful, and so it just needs to be fleshed out into full songs, so there's a relief in that sense, because that's, like, pretty much nothing I, I i don't care about anything else as much as i care about the music i make it's the thing i care about the most you know 
uh, yeah, there's nothing else I care more about than music. So having music, having some stuff there is nice. But yeah, it's just, it's kind of like, it's like a lot of the music I listen to. <laughs> like I'm not, like look, I don't need to be like some gunslinging, like hard loving, hard drinking rock star guy, right? Like I don't like that. I don't really, <laughs> like I don't even know if I can handle that at this point in my life, especially after spending so many years sober and quiet and emotional. Like I was more suited to do that when I was younger, when I was still a teenager, like, and I still had that kind of, it's crazy that people still do that. Like people, like a lot of rock stars are doing like the adult version of what I did when I was a teenager, but they do the, like the adult super version of like going out and getting wasted as an adult <laughs> like it's like whoa that's that's so like i get that's normal thing to do but to me it's like very degenerate uh for me at least it would be a degenerate thing to do drinking is pointless but that makes me unusual doesn't it oh clean cut rock star like ugh, cringe and i'm young as well it's like ish well for a rock star, i'm getting i'm getting old as fuck for someone that makes rock music but, um, <clears throat> you know, I made it past the 27 club. Unfortunately, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a... But, uh... What was I talking about? Yeah, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need to live, like, some stereo... Like, I don't, I don't care for that, you know? I don't need to live some kind of, like, stereotypical rock star life. But I do need to live some kind of life, <laughs> you know. I need to live some kind of something, like, because being in your fucking mum's house is like, the. it's like, I, I can write music that's, like, really beautiful. And the music I listen to is like, I love the cocaine, I love the cocaine. It's like, it's like such wild man music. Like, I, I love wild music. and I love, like, I just love wild shit, like, you know. But my life is very unwild, so it's like, it's kind of jarring. It's like, I don't need it to be that wild. I don't need my life to be that wild. I just, just, I would be happy if, honestly, I don't even crave wildness that much. I crave, like, the ability to regularly perform whole songs I've made. And that's going to take time because I need to finish writing the songs and whatever. But, like, yeah, man, like, I, I just, I just crave the functionality of a, of a life in which I feel like I'm serving people and stuff, you know. So, yeah, I don't need to be, because, like, all the stereotypical rock star lives that are around, I'm not really that crazy about. I don't need to, I don't need to do that, I really, I just don't care. But, yeah, equally as much, like, <laughs> and then just being in a, being in your house all day and like crying is not maybe you get some emo cred but i don't even like emo shit i think emo's i don't like emo music i don't like emo i don't, I don't want emo cred either i don't like it i don't like it like i'm scoring points in books that like it's annoying because everything i've been doing i've had to do to get to where i am like i don't know if i'd be making the music that i make i don't know if i'd be this talented if i didn't go through what i went through but like it's kind of it's frustrating I just just want that little bit that little that little just a little nudge in my life to push me just slightly you know i don't need to be i don't even like man it would be really crazy to see where i end up in like four or five years or something because like who knows you know once i get these songs written like ah uh, like when i was younger i felt like it was more in the cards for me to be like a rock star you know like now it just feels like like the amount of like the 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 loss of like self esteem like not not permanent loss you know but like it really fucking rouses you to cry a lot man and like do it regularly and it fucking it I don't care how cuz is the thing like you guys just think I'm I don't know who what you guys think of but like I've shared myself after a breakup and my most upset and unhinged. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Like the hundred it's just crazy thing I did, right? Well, now I'm kind of becoming normal. Having also changed drastically, but I'm kind of becoming normal, like myself again. I think like even though a very changed version of myself, but kind of going back to normal, 
it's kind of like uh, like I fucking uh, I don't even like uh, I can be so confident but like when you when you're living like this it's like even just going for a walk makes you feel like fucking makes me feel you know to save time it's, it's, a, it's a lot like what John Frusciante that thing John Frusciante said it's like up until he made a certain album with the the Red Hot Chili Peppers, he just always felt like a failure. And I'm a bit like that, you know. I just feel like until I've, I've done a certain amount of stuff, I don't know. I've done my best to like counter that. I've done my best to like uh, not make not feel like a failure and like love myself and all this kind of stuff. But like, I feel like until I actually accomplish some shit, I'm really just not gonna. I'm just gonna feel like a failure until I actually accomplish stuff i'm not ever i don't know if i'll ever actually feel satisfied or really complete or really that eager to celebrate until i've just done some shit i'm very 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 driven allow me to join the club of people that are 10 times more driven than even me you know like business owners people that run businesses like like i say i'm very very driven but then there are fucking ceos and like all kinds of people that are far more driven than me so what who what but then also like i haven't really been myself so maybe uh, i don't know it's all just it's just becoming a narcissistic whatever it's becoming a narcissistic wank session and i'm not really that interested in doing that um so yeah i don't know it's this it's it's okay it's good no I'm, honestly i'm kind of underselling it it's actually things that pretty they're pretty good but uh something is still bothering me though just a little bit some loose ends maybe still but yeah anyway i'm gonna wrap this up but thank you for listening <clears throat> excuse me thank you for listening bye bye